Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to be checking out three incredible builds at the Lego house. This one here is known as the Town and Countryside Island. And this monstrous one, which is full of skyscrapers, is called City Island. And then last but definitely not least is the Tropical Island. So these islands can actually be seen as you come down the stairs into the room. And right below the stairs is the town and countryside island. This is crazy. There's like immense detail, 360 on this thing. So I actually plan on starting our tour with the town and countryside. Uh, it's relatively busy in here, so I'll do the best I can to try and feature everything. <laughs> I mean, there's also a, a lot to see, so I, I don't think I'm going to be able to feature everything. But look at this rock work with all of the slopes and inverted slopes it is so cool we've got like this really spooky house right down here the level of detail in these models like i'm just going to go ahead and say it I've, I've never seen anything like it this is the, by far the best models i have ever seen ever i think they might be the best ones on on planet earth Tr truly like it is actually just crazy and also they're like all lit up. You can see this little fishing pond and the lights in the room actually change as well. So you can see it in different lights. You've got like angled roads going up the mountainside, a windmill there. Those trees are like super cool. They're like uh, fir trees or pine trees and they're built with the connectors. Right below the massive castle on top. Got some water detail here by the train track and all sorts of vegetation. And the minifig count is actually incredible. Population between the three islands that we're gonna have a look at today exceeds 2,500. Yeah, I don't know how many Lego bricks there are. Oh, it says uh, 1,973,000 uh, Lego pieces between all three. Built. It's like this looks like this train is struggling a little bit just to get around the corner there, but there we go. It's working on the nine volt system. So these things pretty much run the entire time while the Lego house is open. All sorts of different street construction. Uh, you've got a playground there. It looks like somebody's actually being pushed on the swing. And the street construction with all of the different pieces is phenomenal. Also, everything is lit up. We've got like a hot tub detail over here. Once again, that windmill is turning. Look at that beautiful roof. What a view that would be, hey? This massive bridge that we probably get a better view of from above. And then down here, this nice water. You can see somebody's been doing some risky rafting there. This guy's bungee jumping. And the water's just flowing down through the center of the build. A giant eagle there as well, suspended from the bridge. Tons of nice detail and also Easter eggs as well. You're gonna see like goblins in the forest. And I believe this is the start of like a mine here. And the mine can actually be seen in here. This looks like aliens. Yeah, it's not a mine. This is the mine, all right? The mine is above like this alien outpost, which is embedded in the rocks. Look at that though. You can like look into the, the cavern there. There's more of the mine built into the base of the mountain. Oh, I wish I had unlimited parts at home. Can you imagine building something like this in your basement? <laughs> that would be insane. Look at the mountain though. Like how many slopes are on that mountain? It goes way up there. It looks like somebody's doing the ski jump. And way at the tip of the mountain, there's some people mountain climbing, of course. All sorts of little stories all over the place. Like this guy, I would not want to drive my camper van up there. It's pretty cool. Like it's just like this little glass wall. It's like literally right there. Of course, no touchy, but still, like, it's crazy. I think it's gonna be, I, I'm not sure if it's all glued together or not, to tell you the truth. Oh, look at that, there's like the ski village, like the chalet. 
and a working gondola. See the gondolas going in at the top there? And one just finished going in the bottom, and then there's a little ski slope. That's a snow trooper. Or sorry, snow trooper. Uh, storm trooper. Little Star Wars Easter eggs up there. <laughs> and there goes the gondola. Some more caverns down here. With caves. Looks like you can go for a tour. There's some minifigures in there like Harry Potter and Ron Weasley. I love the way that this like bulges off the side. You got like the holes in the helicopter. How is that suspended? Oh, it looks like it's bolted right in. This guy's doing some fishing down here. Some gentlemen on horseback. Looks like it's a bandit. Yeah, a couple bandits maybe. And then there's even more detail. Now we're like underneath the stairs because we've made our way all the way around. And there's a farm over here. All sorts of horses, chickens, vegetation, barns and farm buildings. Some crops up there, some explorers checking it out. They're in their tents as well. Some ox up there and cattle. Some wind turbines on the very top, a couple that are moving. Looks like one's under construction there. They got the construction vehicle. Is that a crop circle? Is that what I'm seeing there? Maybe some aliens have stopped by and made some sort of odd pattern or shape in the, uh, the crop. There's also some dinosaurs just hanging out over here. See, having creativity and, and putting funny things like yellow submarines and dinosaurs and aliens in your Lego City. That's what it's all about, right? It's all about having fun and, and doing different things like that. This is just like so immersive. Like I said, I, I've never seen anything like this before. It's very impressive. There goes the train. Looks like it might be designed to slow down around the corners a bit just so it doesn't derail. I wonder if that's going to pop out over here. Yeah. And then it should stop at the uh, station. Definitely struggles with that corner a little bit. But doesn't derail. It's, yeah, I think it's designed to stop at that station. We'll come around here and go underneath the whole build. Like, it's crazy to think that these tunnels, like, pass through this massive, like, creation. Right? Isn't that wild? Okay, let's go up the stairs here. And let's check out this castle and all this detail. So the roads are tiled off. They're not bricks laid on their side. Some vehicles in there. This guy's just holding a giant dolphin. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, the rock work is pretty incredible that we've got this mountain there. Ooh, look at the stained glass. I love that part usage. That's brilliant and the way the light shines through. Up here you can really get a good view of that giant castle. Also, it looks like there's some sort of train system that comes up here. I don't think it's currently turned on though, because I don't see a train up here and I haven't seen a train uh, the entire time I've been here. So it must be like hidden away in one of the tunnels maybe, or just not on the track in general. I love how there's glass here so you can actually bend down and see all the detail. Look, there's some tauntauns and then some uh, huskies pulling a sled there. Oh, and here's the view of that gondola. And also the ski hill. Look, there's R2-D2 on skis too. <laughs> That's a cool ski hill. Wow. This is what I was honestly like, for my trip to Denmark, from a, like a Lego perspective, this was the things that I was most excited to see was not only this, but the other builds that we're gonna have a look at in this video, but in general, just this at the Lego house. I have been looking at it for, I looked at it for about like an hour this morning and then I plan to spend the majority of my day here just sort of looking at these builds just because it's so like immersive and it's just taking me to a different planet, right? Seriously, a Lego planet, I guess. <laughs> okay, so once again, that was Town and Countryside Island. 
the biggest of the three that we're gonna have a look at today. I think the next one that we're gonna have a look at though is the tropical island because this thing is fabulous. Um, you know, I, I love rock work and vegetation and also unique park usage and beaches and water work, Pr pretty much everything in this room, I guess, is what I should say. <laughs> but when you see the dock here, I've done this with slopes before, but I love the fact that they've done it with light gray and dark gray cheese slopes. Yeah, that's real nice, eh? Like they just build a border for it and then build it full of cheese slopes. That is brilliant. And I also love the depth with the water. So I do mine with plate, right? Like different underlying plate. It looks like they do it with different underlying plate as well, but they also use different shades of tile to give the depth to the water, which looks amazing. It's just a matter of getting all of the tiles that they use in this build. I also like the, um, the waves and the way they crash to the shore there and the depth of the, uh, the sand, right? Like you have the dark tan and then all the wedge plates to create the, just the sand effect and the, the gradient. Do something like similar to that at home, but just not to that extent. I feel like they just have a little bit more depth in these models and also just a little bit more uh, color variation with the different colors of tiles. And for some reason, I'm just gonna go on about water, I guess, for the first portion of this, and we're not even looking at all the amazing stuff over there on the island, but I'm just taken away by the water. Like, look at this wave. It's, I just feel like it's a perfectly executed wave. Uh, then we got like a little island over here, some palm trees and a yacht. I think that's a Lego set, could be wrong. And I also really like the way they've uh, placed their beach volleyball, uh, like actually embedded it right into the plate work. So those are like bricks laid on their side. And they've actually done that with beach towels as well. Classically, I would just take tiles and put them on the beach and call them beach towels, but they've actually taken brick, laid them on their side and embedded them right into the sand. And they've actually put them at like interesting angles with uh, the use of wedge plates too. So that is really cool. Yeah, definitely some notes to take from these models. Uh, the vegetation that they have here is just so dense. It looks so good, the palm trees and all of those like larger broad leaves on the base of the palm trees and then a nice combination of like slopes and everything built into it as well. Yeah, like it's just <laughs> breathtaking. Uh, then we have some large rock work over here. So we're gonna go around the perimeter and then we'll, we'll talk about the stuff in the interior. Because I mean, we can't not talk about Captain Hook, right? And also the alligator. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but some really nice rock work here with the bridge, and there's also Captain Jack Sparrow there, and an island over here. Now you're going to notice something curious about this model. It actually transitions into a Duplo model, which at first I was like, ooh, I don't know about that, but then it's like, wow, that's actually really cool how they made the transition. Uh, at the top of the model, we've got this giant volcano, and that volcano was built using an immense amount of slopes, and also the orange cheese slopes is the lava coming down. Oh, look at that. There's like a little cave that's lit up right there. So yeah, the volcano is lit, I would say. <laughs> and there's also uh, Fabuland. So it's like a little theme park. You got bumper cars. It doesn't look like the bumper cars are powered up right now, but I'm almost positive they would move uh, because I did see this carousel moving earlier this tower, it's a very unique idea. And also the swing ride. I've always said that Lego should create a swing ride. Well, there you go. I guess I should just whip out my notepad and <laughs> figure that out maybe. Uh, they've also taken the creator Ferris wheel and they've added a bunch of lights to it. That looks super nice. And then the different ways that they've created all the uh, trails and pathways around the amusement park. Super cool. Looks like they have like the double, uh, like almost like upside down ship ride there. All sorts of guests coming into the park there. And then once again, the beach. And some really nice rock work right here that I've sort of missed. I like that. There's like a through way there. So you like this little hidden beach. And then it transitions into Duplo. It's actually a pretty swift transition, if you ask me. Use those like large trans blue bricks, like the Duplo bricks, to create the water and then just all the colors are right. And there's also this massive Duplo ship. Is this a set? Buddy, that's a set I'm gonna get that for the kids. <laughs> Things sweet. Pretty cool transition though, right? 
Yeah, so pretty impressive build. I didn't even look at this uh, giant yacht here with like the mass amount of solar panels to create the sails. Very, very impressive. There we go. We have the tropical island here in the World Explorer. So town and countryside check and tropical island check. Now we're going to move on to the main cityscape. Oh no, no, did they really? Oh no, they put Duplo in it. Aww. <laughs> there are so many like really cool looking buildings here that are just like, uh, they just look so good. Like just like so many different shapes and angles and balconies and the skyscrapers. I like them because they're not, like they look good when they're all together. They're also like very like, like multi-leveled I should say like, the city itself is very multi-leveled, so the buildings are at all different heights, and they're not scared to add steep, steep, steep roads. Like this guy is getting some exercise on that bike. That's for sure, there's stairs right beside it. And I like that because they've added a lot of depth. I mean, it's not like, like this is huge. My Lego city is way bigger than this model, but look at how much depth they've added. Granted, wouldn't be able to build something like this in my city because how would you get up there? You, you straight up just can't. So I'm not sure how they do that. Like, what is it like installed and then they go from there? I guess so, I, I don't know. There's a massive train station right here. Good. Train's gonna come zipping through here. Okay. And this is the Lego City train station. Maybe this is sort of where we should have started, right? Looks like there's some sort of sports stadium over here. What is it, football? Yeah. So soccer or football, whatever you want to call it. Really neat. That is actually probably like the perfect size for a sports stadium. It is like Lego City scale, right? That is brilliant. All sorts of minifigures in the crowd, like tons of them. Wow. That is a really well executed uh, football stadium. Very cool. All sorts of trees everywhere. There's the friends hanging out by the fountain. Keep an eye open for Easter eggs because I cannot cover them all, nor can I even see them all. I have, once again, been looking at this for quite some time, and I have not seen 10% of what you can see in these cityscapes. It is actually wild. <laughs> oh, there's like uh, the modular building. You got Cafe Corner. Looks like they've added an additional floor to it, though. I've heard you can part out Cafe Corner. No, I actually know you can part out Cafe Corner with some uh, part substitutions uh, for relatively cheap. I think I did it once and I think it was $300 for a Cafe Corner. You just have to like swap out some of the retired windows that ramp up the value of that set. And it's something that maybe I should do, but don't really have much room for, for modular buildings. Uh, we got some more water over here. There is a really nice lighthouse on this island. And this water is different because it uses just the trans dark blue tiles. They're not staggered or anything. They're just put in there. And then some beautiful waves there with like the white caps on the bottom. I always like struggled with building big waves that look realistic and look good. I just use the two by two trans clear slopes and some of the cheese slopes. But that looks really good because they've used like curved slopes, cheese slopes, tiles, all that stuff. Definitely some really good looking waves. And I like how they get smaller as you approach the rocks there. Oof, look at this angle. Whoa. Doesn't that look good? Look at this cinema too. That is a nice looking cinema. Looks like a Mexican restaurant beside that. And there's the Grand Emporium. They've added another floor to it. I think they've changed up the roof a bit. So these aren't like modulars out of the packaging. They've definitely made some modifications to them. I believe, I could be wrong there. I might be wrong. I think the roof is tiled off. Oh, look at that. Fire. <laughs> some lights inside there lighting up the flames. A big red and white crane. Looks like a giant hospital. And on top of the hospital is a helicopter and a giant police station as well. The thing is massive. <laughs> no way. Giant donut shop right outside the police station. Is that Wiggum? Yeah, there's Chief Wiggum. And all the cops getting donuts. Yes, love it. Massive harbor here. Some gigantic cranes. <laughs> Container ship full of banana. Look, there's crates of banana and there's like the banana art 
Oh my gosh, it's taped to the wall. Didn't somebody like tape a banana to the wall and call it art or something and make a ridiculous amount of money or, or something ridiculous like that? It's funny how they're doing Easter eggs. And look at that, the screen, that's not live, but it's showing uh, POV, the point of view of the train. So you can get a little point of view perspective of the train line as it goes around the Lego city. This is like the biggest cargo ship I have ever seen. It's probably to scale though. Like, <laughs> don't you think? Like that is minifig scale? Yeah, I guess, like it's huge. And then over here, of course, we've got Metal, metal Beard Sea Cow. One of the best boats they've ever produced. Also a modified steamboat load. Honestly though, this is, I think what's one of the best boats they've ever produced. Oh, that's a nice looking seaplane too in this dock. Very nice. Oh, see, this is what, like the brick boat road where they like put the plates in it because you can add all that detail, like all the potholes and the discoloring and all that. That is something I've considered doing. And now we're back at the Duplo. So we've sort of already gone around and seen everything, maybe 10% of everything there is to see here. Uh, pretty special, like it's amazing. I didn't see that. That's the bat signal. Actually, like how they did that, they mounted a batter. Oh no, they didn't, that's a bat print piece. Never mind, print piece on a dish. I like this skyscraper too with the curved slopes. That's real nice. Just like gives a nice texture to the outside of the building. Really adds to the vibe the way they have the uh, lights changing color in the room. And then also how they've added actual lights to the skyscrapers as well. Like especially that trans blue one in the middle. Yeah. Like this one too with like the the X beams running through the whole thing. Those are all created with like slopes and inverted slopes. Just a good way to add a texture to a building. I'm like completely hyped on this area. I, I don't know if you can tell that. <laughs> I don't know if I've stated that yet, but I'm pretty sure I have. There we go, everybody. It's uh, the World Explore Cityscape. The town and countryside. Bam, there it is and also the tropical island. Look at that. You can see it in its entirety in this shot right here. Woo. <laughs> oh, look, the carousel is going now. So it looks like the rides sort of turn on and off maybe. Here's some facts about the builds that we just saw. The world explore, city island, town and countryside, tropical island, how many trees there are, lights, total cable length, population, Lego bricks, design time, and production time. Feel free to pause it and take a look at that because it is impressive. I'm like 20 feet up right now. I'm on the stairs. I'm right over top of this mountain. It is crazy. Oh, look at that. The lights just turned on. So the lights are actually in sync with the roof lights that keep changing color. Now that is next level. But look at how like, tall this thing is. Holy cow. I just don't want this video to end because I just want to keep talking about these three displays here in the Lego house because it's truly just crazy. But I think we've done enough <laughs> to pretty much be assured at all. Uh, it is special, breathtaking. Definitely, you got to, in my opinion, way better to see in person than through a video camera. I, I hope I've done a pretty good job to sort of show you these amazing creations because I know not everybody is going to be able to come out to Bill in Denmark and see it. And I am just on cloud nine. Oh my gosh, the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 down here. I did not notice that the first time. But yeah, thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And have yourselves a fantastic day. Farewell.